this is, this is how conservatives actually treat people. You stand up and you interrupt and you shout safety and you're perfectly safe. Look at that. It's amazing. Look how that works. And for the record, you should also clarify your chance. If you're going to shout safety, you should at least clarify who farted it first. OK, so we're going to talk about three terms that the left likes to sling around with abandon. These are social justice, white privilege, and safe spaces. Now, I understand this may make some people a little upset. It's OK. You'll live. You really will. It'll be OK. We're all here for you. We'll take care of you. We'll make sure that we pat you on the head and make you feel all better afterward. And honestly, facts don't care about your feelings. And <laughs> OK. So first of all, shame, shame. honest to God. OK, guys, I just, I, I'm sorry. I have, to, I have to explain to you how semantics work. Like, really, I think this is important now. OK. Ah, you're so boring. You're so boring. OK, so let me explain to you something, OK? If you're going to pick a chant, if you're going to pick a chant like shame, who, me? If you're going to pick a chant like shame, watch Game of Thrones first. The bad guys shout shame. <laughs> you're, not changing any, you're not changing anybody's mind. All you're showing everybody is that your collective IQ, if it were channeled into electricity, might be able to toast a piece of bread lightly. <laughs> OK, so can, can we talk now, or are you going to keep shouting? Like, really, now's your chance to get it out. Let's hear your feeling. Come on. Just go for it. Or is it going to be like every 30 seconds, like the annoying microwave timer? Like, you got anything more? You got anything more? OK, are we done? Thank you. All right. Social justice. Now, normally, I don't like to do this. But if we, have any, if we have any peace officers, this actually is now a disturbance that we would like to get past so that we can actually have a discussion. If you guys want to talk, we can talk. If you want to shout, get the hell out. For God's sake, at least, at least wait till I say something that offends you before being offended. So, social justice is an oxymoron. Okay? If a guilty man is acquitted because he's the right race, that is anti-justice. If an innocent man is convicted because he's the wrong race, that's anti-justice. Social justice, however, suggests that your group identity, your identity as a person, relieves you of individual responsibility to be a decent human being. So you get to interrupt lectures if you're the right race or if you're the right gender or the right sexual orientation. You get to do these things without punishment because, after all, that's in the nature of social justice, group justice. We don't hold you responsible for your individual actions. You get extra points in heaven because you were born with a certain skin color or sexual orientation. Shame. 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 Today, all you hardcore leftists call yourselves social justice warriors, and you do this because you believe that individual justice is racist and sexist and bigoted and homophobic. Individual justice suggests that we each be held responsible for our actions, but SJWs think that's unfair because we're not just individuals, of course, we're members of groups. What if the groups are disproportionately poor? What if they're disproportionately in jail? How can we achieve group justice if individual justice keeps getting in the way? Right, if it turns out that certain groups have more members in jail, disproportionately, that must be because something deeply wrong has happened, something the system is rigged against that group. It can't be because a lot of individuals within that particular group have committed crimes. Now, the problem with this logic is it sounds sort of bad. If you think of people only in terms of their racial or ethnic groups or their sexual orientation, that's sort of racist. It's sort of homophobic. It's actually sort of discriminatory. You're not any better a person for being black or gay or Jewish. 
Race doesn't mean anything. Social group is only important if the social group is propagating good things. If you just arbitrarily group people about skin color, that's, that's just called tribalism. Racial diversity doesn't actually mean anything. See, that's what a decent, hardworking person sounds like, as opposed to a loser student here on the public dime, presumably. This is a public university. Everybody here is presumably on the public dime. OK, so racial diversity doesn't mean anything. Decency means everything. Diversity isn't good unless the people who are racially diverse are doing good things. Diversity isn't bad unless the people doing bad things are racially diverse. Diversity isn't our strength. Decency is our strength. Decency, remember that? Shame. Decency. Shame. Decency. Shame. Decency. Shame. Decency. 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 All right, guys. But as you can tell, the left does not care about decency. They care about groups. Why? Because the left doesn't believe in individuals. Instead, they believe that individual rights get in the way of creating their collectivist utopia. They think fairness can only be achieved for everyone if all groups end up in the same place. They want fairness. Not fairness of opportunity or fairness of rights. Fairness of outcome. Cosmic justice. Now, individual fairness of outcome cannot be achieved by government interventions, and SJWs know this. So instead, they suggest that the reason that individuals aren't achieving individual fairness is because of collective unfairness, right? Victim groups have been sinned against. The real reason that some groups are less successful in America than others, or some individuals are less successful than others, that's because of white privilege, right? According to the left, there's no, if there is inequality of outcome, that's because there's shadowy white privilege. It's living in the shadows, squashing people of other colors. White privilege is inherent in everything, from capitalism to free speech. Any system that doesn't result in racially diverse results, that must be the result of white privilege. So we have to tear down white privilege. And this is a really seductive idea. The campus left simply gives people this feeling of virtue by counting the members of victimized identity groups. If you're an underachieving black woman, the left says you're underachieving not because of the decisions that you've made, but because the system hates you. If you're an underachieving gay Hispanic man, you must be failing because the system targets people like you. According to the campus left, the only people who certainly have not been victimized are, of course, white heterosexual cisgender males. Right, the system was built to benefit them. The Founding Fathers designed a governmental economic system to protect their own interests at the expense of minorities everywhere. This white, in, this white privilege, to all these members of the campus left, extends to every area of American life. It's totally inescapable. You're born into it if you're white. You're born with a heavy burden on your back that can never, ever be alleviated if you're born non-white or non-straight or non-male. Now, there is good news for those of us who are white, heterosexual, cisgender males. There is a way to relieve ourselves of this burden. All we have to do is shout shame at ourselves. Right? If we shout shame at ourselves and we acknowledge that the system is privileged in our favor, then everything's cool again. All we have to do is just get up and say, mea me culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. It's all our fault. Now, before we go any further, Sorry. Okay, if you guys are all going to come up here, can we at least have circle time or something? 
So, so, are you guys having a tough time seeing? white supremacist because you, because you guys are here shouting down people who are speaking really okay last time la how what starts how what starts what, what are you talking about what is it and why, if you have a question, why don't you just ask it? I'm happy to talk with you, but this is nonsensical. This doesn't help. What was that? Well, then tell your people to sit down. We're having a question and answer period. Well, then who are they? If you want to have a conversation, have a conversation. This is not productive. This is, this is, this is, whiny, this is whiny nonsense.
that are the highest risk on this campus right now. Queer and trans students, queer and trans students of color, Muslim students, undocumented students. I speak with those people and I ask what you are doing to ensure that they are not killed right now.